ER and Ali McBeal. Let's take a look. <laughs> look, if you're gonna stay there, you at least have to protect yourself better. Like how? Well, when I broke up with Willie Boot, remember second year? Oh, do I? Yeah. Anytime I bumped into him or saw him, I'd imagine his new girlfriend strewn all over him, and it would keep me from getting sucked back in. I am not getting sucked back in. I'm, I'm fine. Nobody's sucking me anywhere. If you say so. I say so. Fine. Fine. Please welcome the beautiful Miss Lisa Nicole Carson. Fine. Yes, you look very nice tonight, Lisa. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Okay, you. thank you. So it's been a very, very good year for you. Ali McBeal just won a couple of Golden Globe Awards. Yes, indeed. Uh, whew. How do you feel about that? Incredible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect to win right. anything. I didn't expect to win anything, um, for the show to win anything at all. Because it's, it's an hour-long show. It's an hour show. The competition was stiff. Right. I mean, we've only been on um, for maybe seven months now. Right. It's a new show. Right. And we were up against Seinfeld. Right. And Frasier. And Third Rock from the Side. Right. And everything else we beat. Right. <laughs> no. um, so, oh, it's just incredible, though. But I'm really happy. I That's couldn't good. be happier. How did you wind up getting a part on that show? Ah, uh, well, um, it was, uh, I, I really didn't have um, a lot of interest in doing television. Okay. I'm already on ER. I have a reoccurring role on right. that. And um, I, that was fine. I just wanted to do movies and right. theater. But then everyone kept telling me about David Kelly being such a brilliant writer right. and the project being so incredible. And I said, okay, I'll just go. And I wasn't prepared. Okay. For the audition? No, I didn't know my lines. Right. I, I didn't look too good. No? No. I'm sure that's all for you not to do. <laughs> no, 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 no. This was a very bad day. Right. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> um, your, your character is an attorney. Yes. So what did you wear to this audition? You, you weren't in like a suit or anything oh, like that? Oh, I think I had on some blue jeans right. and a cowboy hat right. and some Converse. Right. And I got there because it was my first audition, but I think people had been auditioning like three or four times. Right. Because they had on business suits. Okay. So I wasn't dressed properly and I wasn't prepared, but I just put my heart and my soul in it. And, and you got it. Are you anything like the character you play on the show? I mean, is there any similarities between you and her? I mean, I can be a smart ass sometimes, right. and that's just about it. Right. That's the only similarity. <laughs> that's the only similarity. Right. And then the, the show has this very interesting thing where it has these special effects where the girls have, like, the long tongues sticking out, and they got this <laughs> dancing baby. It's like, you know, they, like the symbolism, and they have this dancing baby. I think the name yeah. is Baby Cha-Cha. Yeah. And the, people have been responding to it. Some, some like it, some don't like it. What do you think about this? I like it. Right. I love the fantasy segments. Um, I think it just um, kind of reminds me of that show, Dream On. Right. Yeah, right. I, I, I like that stuff. Yeah. But some people have, you know, I heard a couple of people say that they don't like the fantasies, but who cares about those people? We want a golden That's glow. That's right. That's all that so, matters. The song to that. That's right. <laughs> what do they know? All right. They don't well, know nothing. They don't know. It. I'm going to take a commercial break, and we'll be, we'll be right back with Lisa Nicole Carson when we return. I'm gonna risk you through arraignment and hopefully dispose of it first thing. You're gonna be the DA? I'll try, but you better get yourself a lawyer because... I I'm gonna represent myself. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. We want the judge to kick this thing quickly. Judges don't like it when lawyers represent themselves. I want you to take this phone and get a hold of someone from your office. Now. his health. It has to do with you wanting him to look like you in the shower. So what if I do? Carla, he's my son. Then why didn't you say that then? I understand that. Instead of you blowing off a lot of medical steam, it don't make no damn sense. Carla, what happened to that boy's penis should have been left up to me. Welcome back to Later. I'm Michael Rappaport, and we're here with Lisa Nicole Carson. Right, that was a clip from ER, but I got, first, before we talk specifically about ER, I want to talk specifically about that clip. What the hell were they talking about? Circumcision <laughs> and penises, and what was that whole situation? 
Well, I, I wanted to have the baby circumcised, and, and Peter, Dr. Peter Benton, didn't, didn't want. Because he wanted a, like, a, like, a, a, like father, like son sort of thing going exactly. on. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> now, I wonder, I, I don't really want to know this, but the, so is that, was that a character choice for him, or is that like a personal thing for <laughs> Mr. Eric LaSalle who plays Peter? <laughs> I mean, well, where did that, was that just the writing, or what's up That was with just that? the writing. Right. I've never seen that conversation on television <laughs> yeah, before. Exactly. It was good. But you know, that's a, that's a conversation that happens a lot. I yes. think that's a problem sometimes. I mean, I don't know. I don't have any children. Right. Um, but um, I've heard that being an issue between, you know, parents yeah. sometimes. I, yeah. I, I know a guy who uh, actually just got circumcised and, and, and he was 20. I don't know, you know, what, I know, I'm dead serious, you know. He was, in, he was a little into S&M, that wasn't the circumcision, okay. it was just like a <laughs> conversion. All right, so ER, so you, you got a knack for picking the right shows. This is like, you know, what's the deal? You got ER and Ally McBeal, you couldn't be in a better position right now. I mean, it must Thank have been you. hard figuring out what table to sit at the Golden Gloves. You got ER people and the Ally McBeal people, but the ER people are getting paid $13 million a show. That's, that's the, the cast rate for the whole entire show. What's... What's going on with this? Well, that's, that's ER money, and it wasn't that hard for me to decide where to sit because right. I was only invited to sit with Ally McBeal. Okay. okay. So I just went to the table. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, the role on ER is a recurring role, right. and the, the regular cast members are the only people that go to the support. Golden. Exactly. Okay, cool. And your character, great, okay. and your character is named Carla. Carla Reese. And Peter. Now, now, what's going to happen? Is there anything going to happen with the love situation between Carla and Peter? What's going on with that? I don't know. Right now, we're, we've been bickering. We've been fighting. Is there any possibilities of a new love dude for Carla on the show? Because if there is, I just want to let you know that I'm open to, like, even auditioning or readings, <laughs> anything, if there's anything that I might be able to do to get in there, just if you could put a good word in you for know, me. You know, I'm going to put in a word okay. for you. You know, you actually, you should talk to the Ally McBeal people. Okay. Or you could talk to them for me. <laughs> All right, then. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Are you going to continue to do both shows? Um, Yes, for as, you know, as long as I can, as right. long as it's interesting to me. Right. Um, right now, I'm having a great time, so it's cool. Is it hard doing both shows? Like, how do they work out the scheduling? Because, I mean, working on one show is hard enough. Is it hard, like, is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is Ally McBeal, and Thursday and Friday is ER? Is it weekly? How do they work that out? I mean, because a lot of times they would just be like, you got to be on one show. You must have had something special to have that worked out. Well, I am, the, the, there's so many people on ER. Right. And so they don't use me uh, right. that much okay. on the show. Um, I think I've, I've done maybe a couple episodes this entire season. Last season, I was on the show a lot, so it would have been difficult to be on um, two shows. But this season, it's been kind of sp sporadic. Okay. <sighs> All right. So, Lisa, you were, I got to bring this up. I don't want to embarrass you, but you were voted TV Guides, one of TV Guides' 20 sexiest women people on the show. And I'm telling you. How does, that, how does that make you feel? I mean, is this, like, does this sex image like hurt your career? I know you're not. I know you're obviously a very talented actress, and you're on neither one of those shows. It's all right. I mean, what do you? Th how do you feel about that? Is it, does it make you shy? Does it? You know, how do you feel about that? Well, um, it, it's it's funny mostly to me. It's it's funny. Um, I, I'm embarrassed a lot by it only because, you know, I have a family and right. my father has to hear stuff about right. me being sexy. That's not, girls. He that's doesn't want to cool. hear that. He doesn't want to hear that. He doesn't want to know about you know, that. He doesn't want to know about that. Be, you know, his students start telling him stuff. What does your father do? My father, he teaches journalism at the University of Florida. Oh, okay, that's cool. And um, he doesn't want to hear about. He doesn't people. want to hear about anybody wanting to it's do his daughter. Kids in his class going, <laughs> you know, you know da da da. <laughs> cool. uh, you, you you made a funny comment that uh, you said something like, "I never knew a 36D would take me this far." I really need to stop talking so much. <laughs> but I, obviously, you you were making really? fun of it because you, you you 36D. There's plenty of women walking around that you're obviously a very very talented actress. So you know. Yes. No, no joke. I mean, because like in L. Los Angeles, there's plenty of women walking around with 36 Ds and 57 Bs and all kinds of things. That's right. And, you know, it's That's not just right. that. That's right. Word up. Um, you know, it's definitely beauty and, and all of the physicalities definitely ha play a part right. in, in show business. There's no way around it for women and men. For women and men. Absolutely. Yeah. But really... For women. Really for women, <laughs> but definitely for men too. I mean, it, yeah. it's not as it's not as on the surface, but it's not as talked about because 
primarily most of the people in Hollywood are pulling the strings. Most of them, there's plenty of powerful women, are men. True, so they're going to have that thing. But there's true. definitely, you know, like, looks are important either way. Either way. You know what I mean? If you don't have this or that or whatever, it's not going to play off you. i got to ask you another question, though, uh -huh. because I, saw, I was looking at all this stuff, and there's another picture that you have three tattoos strategically placed throughout your, 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 your person. You do, is it, what's the deal with that? That's his homework. Now, I saw a picture. We had the picture. The, uh, there was a picture of, of, of Miss Lisa Nicole with a, with a, there's a, there it is. Now, that's but, a, but that's just my stomach. Please. No, no, it's beautiful. <laughs> but that's a crab? Now, where did the crab come from? I, it's, it's a, the, I, no. Is it because? Wait, 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 Hold wait, on. Wait. This is going wait. too far. I want you to explain this. I'm going to explain it. I'm a cancer. You're a cancer. Yeah. It's yes. not anything like, a, you know, a joke. I know. No, no, no. You sound like my brother. My older brother said the same thing What the thing hell are you me. getting a crab down there? That's the last thing you want. You know, I just said I know, right? <laughs> no, come on. Elaborate. Michael. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what other tattoos do you have? We, we, you have the crap. Michael and the people of the United States of America. Yes. I don't have crabs. No. I am a cancer. No. 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 Okay, but no. What are the other two, where are the other two tattoos? Can you, should, we, are we, should we not talk about the tattoos? No, okay, the other two tattoos. There's a tattoo here. Can I my, see? Uh, or no? No, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll just keep this one. Okay, hidden. keep that. Okay. <laughs> There's a, a, a tattoo here that says Gypsy. Gypsy. That was um, a, a nickname okay. for a while. Won't and then there's one that. on my shoulder, and it's, you know, during my really militant phase. Okay. Um, it's um, two fists breaking chains. Okay. And, um, you know, symbolizing freedom. Okay. And, and that's it. We'll leave the tattoos alone. Yes. And when we, okay, when we come back, when we come back, we're going to talk more about some of your films, The Devil in a Blue Dress, because you had a very, very sexy sexual scene with Denzel Washington that wasn't a love scene, it was a sex scene, exactly. and Eve's by you with Sam Jackson, okay? So we'll be right back. Cool. We'll be right back with Lisa Nicole Carson and Later Return. You must be so proud. Your son is the best color doctor in all of Louisiana. Second coming. I used to be able to keep up with you. Oh, she's got a practice. That's it. And there's no need to go, is there? But if he tries to act all cool, well, then hey, you just gonna have to go. Teach his ass a lesson. <laughs> Hello, do your thing, girl. Do it. Welcome back to Later. We're talking to Lisa Nicole Carson. So before the break, we were talking about your very memorable scene in Devil, Blue, Devil in a Blue Dress with Denzel Washington, which you were very specific about making sure it was called a sex scene and not a love scene. You want to talk about this? And I know that I've been in a couple of situations in films where I've done sex scenes, love scenes, whatever you want to call them. And in, it is definitely, definitely not as sexy as it might appear when you're doing it. You want to talk about that? <clears throat> well... First, I mean, I think they're love scenes when, when the two characters that are involved in the act right. have expressed, you know, I love you emotions. Right. And there's been some kind of romance involved. Right. The scenes that I've done have been just sex, you know, you know, slap it, flip it, rub it down, right. oh right. no, <laughs> kind of thing. I mean, right. um, um, so that's basically what that's about. Um, did, you, did you get a chance? No, that's, that's, you're, it's clear. It's very true. Yeah. You're right. And in life, it's the same, not just the movie. There's sex, yeah. and there's totally. love, exactly. and there's there. We don't need yeah. to get into that. It's late, but it's not that late. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, so did you, did you get the chance to rehearse for that? How did you go about approaching that? Because I know it's, it's very nerve-wracking. How did you go about doing that? Uh, well, I... A lot of women would love to have been in a, you know, chance to be in a sex scene with Mr. Denzel Washington, the sexiest man alive, blah, 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 blah. I mean, no, you know, no taking away from nothing from me, but that's what People Magazine called it. <laughs> no, 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 uh, well, he's, he's, he's pretty sexy. Pretty sexy. Yeah, he's okay. pretty sexy. Um, you know, I don't want to...
which she worked with Samuel Jackson. We're talking about him. Everybody has so much respect for him. Totally. He's a, a class act, and he works totally. so hard, and he's he's the epitome of an actor and all that sort of thing. And that you play another sort of sexy home record. Yeah. We saw the clip before the break. Sam's the bomb too. Right. I mean, he's a very sexy man. Right. Um, he's a fine actor. Right. I mean, I think that uh, <clears throat> for me. Definitely, the fact that I think that both of these men are very attractive, that's right. great, whatever. But it was really wonderful to be able to work with people that I hold such high regard right. for right. as actors. Right. I think they're both brilliant. Absolutely. They're brilliant. And I know that you, you sing, and mm -hmm. that you started off singing and all that sort of thing, and you, you've talked about maybe possibly making an album and launch a, a music career. You want to talk about that? And what kind of stuff do you sing? And all, what, uh, do you still sing? Are you going to do this record? What's the deal? I am a singer, okay, and um, I've always been a singer. The acting just jumped off first, okay, um, and it kind of just started going, and I couldn't stop it, and I didn't have a lot of time, okay, to devote to the music. But I've been writing and producing my um, my own music. Really? And what kind of music is it? What kind of singing? Um, I suppose it would it would be best classified as alternative R&B, okay. but I really don't have a category for it. Right. And who are your inspirations? Like, who musically are people that you look up to that you admire? Ooh, let's see. Um, I was really heavily influenced by um, Prince mm -hmm. and Michael Jackson. Like, what's Jackson. some of your, your favorite <laughs> Prince songs? Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to get you to sing. <laughs> Is that a no <laughs> Is, that, is there any possibility that that would happen? If I'll sing with you, I mean, it's not going to be good. I'll me. probably really, really, really throw you off, but I'll sing with you if that's what it takes. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna, no, I'm going to let you off the hook. We'll come back to it and stuff no, like that. I, I you got something? You got it. You just, you... I'm in love again. This time I mean it. In love again. Ooh. So in love. What lies between us is discovering. This time it's for real. I'm scared now. No, 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 that was great. 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 We're going to take a commercial break, okay? We'll be right back with Miss Lisa Nicole Carson on Michael Rappaport here on Later. That was good. Nicole Carson, that was beautiful. I know you said you were a little scared. That was beautiful. Thank I just you. want to congratulate you. You were nominated for an NAACP award for your role on ER. Yes. And that's great. Thank and we got to get out of here. Everybody, keep watching Lisa Nicole Carson on um, <laughs> Ali McBeal. And you got so many things, I get confused. It's Eve's Body, which is still in the theater, <laughs> and ER. And thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. All right. My name is Michael Rapport, and I will catch you later.